So welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you T flip flops. So T flip flops is a type type of circuit. So this is a T flip flop right here. Press the button. As you can see, it's off. Turn it back on, and it's on. So this is how a T flip flop works. This is a this is the, the basic T flip flop. Under here is a sticky piston. Redstone goes into here. This block is moved up. Then a one tick, then a zero tick pulse is transmitted into this piston, which pushes the block out, and then pulls it back, and it covers that up. Which redstone, which the current goes through into this block and through this repeater, which powers this redstone lamp. Quite a simple, simple one, but this is a simple T flip flop. I'm going to go through many more. And if you enjoy this content, remember to like and subscribe, and you'll be supporting the channel. And, yep, this is a T-flip block. Now, this is a different one. This is one using droppers. Press the button, turns off. Press it again, turns on. Really simple. Here's another design that you can use that goes from the, which you can get the output from this end. Press the button, turns off. Press it again, turns on. Here's another one, here's a much more simpler one that uses less droppers. As long as no one's standing here, otherwise the item's gonna be collected by the player. Press it. Off. On. Really simple. Really simple T flip flop. Here's another one using pistons and a observer. Press the button. On. And off. Really simple. You need a observer facing this way, like that, and you need two sticky pistons. Really simple. Here's another one. This one's really compact, really, really good one. You only need one block, so it's one by one, which is really easy. Really simple. It's a really simple T flip flop. You are going to need two sticky pistons, observer, redstone block, and that's it, really. Now this is where I'm going to be showing you a rising edge and falling edge one. So in my last video I went through one of the stable circuits, the rising and falling. This is pretty much the same thing but using a T flip flop. This is the output, it's off. Now a falling edge right at the end of the button. So when you press the button, when the button goes out, so it goes, the button is just about to come out the redstone, the redstone wall, redstone block will move. So as soon as the button pops up, the redstone block will move. That is what falling edge is. This is a rising edge, a bit bigger, but still the same thing. It will ha it will happen at the start of the at the start of the button being pressed. So as soon as I press the button, that redstone block will move. But with this one, as soon as I press the button, you would have to wait until the button moves back up, and that's when the redstone block will move. So this is what rising edge and falling edge versions of T flip flops are. I'm going to be showing you a really simple T flip flop that's quiet. So this is a quiet T flip flop. It uses no pistons or droppers. It's completely quiet. Really quiet. You, all you can hear is the press of the button, but you don't have to have a button. You can use another output as long as it's a as long as it's not a wooden button. I'll show you what happens if you use a wooden button because it won't work. See, it doesn't work. You have to use a stone button. You have to use an output like a stone button. Really easy, but really quiet. T flip flop. You can use these in traps and stuff like that. It's advised to it anyway, because you don't want a loud piston, otherwise, people will hear it and move out of the way. Here's another T flip flop which I've come up with. Really simple. Really simple T flip flop uses the observer, observes the hopper something in the hopper so as soon as you push the button really quick pulse really simple to build 
I don't really tend to use these, I just found found some of these being used. I, I mainly use, um, I mainly use this one because this one's really easy to build and also the dropper one because this is really compact and easy to build. I also use this one too because it's also easy to build. I mainly use this one in survival and this one in survival but on creative I can, I can use this one as I've got, I can get sticky pistons quite easily on creative. And some of these I use as well. This one's easier for survival as it has less resources and it's really small and compact. These ones I used to use but I don't really use them anymore. But they're quite good. They're quite useful. These were the the old ones that I used to use. This one's not too compact. That's why I don't really use it anymore. And this one I haven't really used this before. I just found I just saw someone using it and thought that's quite cool. Deep flip flop. And yeah. And this is a another deep flip flop which I saw someone using. It's not as good as any of the others, it's just a random design that you can use, but really cool T flip flop. You only need one item in there. And the last T flip flop, now this is the easiest T flop flip flop that you can make. Most compact and easiest to make. Really simple teeth flip flop. All you need is a lever, and that's it really. Because the lever is pretty much just a teeth flip flop. But this is a very good teeth flip flop. The easiest to make, and it lacks a lot, it doesn't use many resources, which is good. But this is the last teeth flip flop. Super simple teeth flip flop. Now these are all the T flip flops designs that I've came up with. There are others, but they're probably not as good as these. Like I said in the video about monostable circuits, these are probably the best ones out of all of them that I've seen because of what they're about. This is the normal one that you'll get in. You see this. This is the basic T flip flop one that you'll see in most videos. Same with the dropper one. You don't tend to see these ones, but these ones are very good for what they are. Like this one's really quiet, this one's really compact, they're all very good, and this one, this one's probably the most compact of all of them. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.